Continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a Xenoverse. It's a Xenoverse card, and it's coming in from Connor. But before I go ahead and read Connor's Xenoverse card while I write down his name inside my notepad so I can get back to it inside a later live stream, send me custom cards over to VHF Custom Cards at gmail.com so to get to your custom card. And in the near future, I'm getting all of these. Not in the near future. As soon as possible. We'll leave it in the video. As soon as possible, I'm getting all these recent custom cards out the way. Uh, don't mind me, guys. I am quite tired today. Uh, for the past couple of days, I've just been tired, guys. Like, Jesus. I've just been very tired. So if some if some of the videos like sound a little bit like slouchy, I'm sorry. Because if I take a nap, I am not going to remember to upload like at all. Like I'm going to take a nap and I'm just going to go throughout my day. And I'm going to be like... <laughs> into the next day and i'm like wait wasn't i supposed to upload which is why i like to get these videos done immediately no naps no breaks no breaks no days off so uh connor says and there's two uh emails i believe he corrected uh the document so for the first part of the email okay so uh connor says uh, these cards are based on my uh, xenoverse custom characters okay uh i would love for you to uh, look at these in a video hey we're looking at it today have an amazing day. Having a good day. I'm having a good day. And then that smiley face Dokkan battle fan made W. Connor, thank you for sending your cards. Seriously. Uh, wait, did I fully write down the... Yeah, I'm just going to take the quick second to write down your name. So I could... I got to write down the name of the, the Xenoverse custom character that you created too. Um, and in the second part of the uh, message of the email, he says, I recently went back to this doc and uh, I completely changed their builds to be closer to the ninth anniversary level. I aimed for these characters to be hypothetically released later on after ninth Annie. And I think I hit that mark really well. Thanks for looking at my cards. Dev, you guys can't see it, but I pretty much read it out. Um, shout out to you, Connor. Seriously. Thank you for sending in your custom cards. Uh, so with that being said, let's go and see. So it's Alco. I think that's what you said. Uh, so let me just real quick write down Alco. And then uh, let's do that. I'll start the email after the video is done. Yo. <laughs> uh, I have like I have one full page that I finished on a live stream. Right. This is going to be next live stream. And then, and then front and back, I have to do all of these cards. So now what I have to do before I go ahead and start reading the... Uh, connor's custom card i have to tear out another piece of paper to write down more custom cards i have to come back to um i'm supposed to be doing a like a live stream sometime this month yeah been a little bit busy guys i've been putting it back a little bit but yeah sometime this month i'll be able to do the live stream um probably earlier this month maybe maybe you guys will see when it just pops up and i'm like oh we're gonna be doing it that's why i say join the 24 7 discord server i'm trying to tell you guys join the 24 7 discord server i usually like uh answer questions like almost all the damn time about when there's a live stream that's gonna be coming so world's last hope uh alco i think as you say or alco or al cow it's alco i'm just gonna assume it's alco little xeniverse uh, character me personally i'm not a big fan of xeniverse that's just me though uh but hey I mean, if you like it, you like it. I mean, I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> Those models are too shiny for me. But if you like Xenoverse, I can't hate it. I can't hate it, of course. Because everyone likes what they like. So, he is Super Ant. Of course, he's an LR. And these are his stats uh, at 55%, I like to assume. 55% and Rainbowed. I like to assume. I like to assume one's at 55%, one's at Rainbowed. Because it just has HP, Attack, and Defense. And then you have one set of numbers on this side, another set of numbers on this side. His attack and defense is pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. 12? No. <laughs> no, no. That's not 12. That's 15,000. I thought that said 12,000. That's 15,000 defense. <laughs> Rainbowed. I thought that said 12,000. I read the 5 as a 2. And then uh, for 100% for the attack, that's 22,000, bro. Okay, so good, good stats. Very bonkers stats. Leader skill is Earth Bread Fighters, Battle of Fate, or Miraculous Awakening 3 key, and 170% across the board. And the additional 30% of stats is two Earthlings or Transmission Boosts. And we have the 200% leader skill up, pulled up. Life is just beautifully easier when there is a 200% leader skill link. You guys don't have to post it, but hey, 
it's just one extra step for me editing i'm not really a big editor if you guys notice i'm just really uh carried off of my uh commentary commentary could be a bit better though i had better commentary back then if i'm being honest so um we have jiren hello tech ui your usual suspects uh gohan I haven't seen gohan here though wait have we have we seen gohan maybe i just don't notice him i feel like i haven't seen gohan in any of these recent 200 percent at least goes for these uh custom card reviews um who else um lr tech bb although he technically uh does not hold up compared to some of these recent options a absolutely not yeah he's not he doesn't hold up against some of these recent options um we have power can piccolo we have uh beastless um roshi's on here okay balma's on here too um, both balmas aren't they yeah we have balma in here not bad at all okay let's see what we got for his super attack effect so his 12 key that being the true will of an earthling he uh, gains a uh, 30 percent defense for one turn and stacks attack nice and his 18 key that being the full power rush he stacks attack and uh, he gains 50 percent defense for three turns as well as raising allies chance to crit by 20 percent for two turns so he supports allies with crit chance for multiple turns nice while stacking attack on both super attack effects and gaining defense for multiple turns at one as well as gaining defense for one turn inside the other so good super attack effects and his passive refusal to lose like the name of that four key and 150 percent attack defense for six turns from character's entry turn nice plus additional 150 percent attack defense just baseline and attacks guaranteed to hit when facing an extreme class enemy okay so they just cannot dodge this guy and he gets 20 percent damage reduction unrestricted and he also gets an additional 22 percent damage reduction before attacking nice so you can get up to 42 percent damage reduction before he attacks and then after he attacks he gets 20 percent damage reduction and 42 percent attack within the same turn after receiving attack cool and 15 percent defense up to 75 percent with each attack received so that is give or take like real quick math so 15 30 that's 45 that is oh my god i'm doing math so slow and then it's five hits he has to take i think that's five hits man i'm doing math too slow my brain is moving in slow motion right now guys i am sorry i'm just i'm just exhausted after today uh <laughs> He also gets a 20% chance to crit when the key is 12. Okay. And he also gets an additional 20% chance to crit when the key is 18. Okay. And he performs a guaranteed crit and performs a guaranteed super and key is 24. All right. He's also key for keys are obtained. Nice. Well, of course, one key for keys are obtained. And launches a guaranteed super when HP is 75% or more. I love that. This card is getting rewarded for just getting key. I like this. This is one of my favorite designs about any type of unit from Vanilla Dokkan all the way to custom cards. I love when a unit is rewarded for getting key. So you can get up to a 40% chance to crit provided your key is at 18. And if you hit 24 key, he does a guaranteed crit with a guaranteed super, which is going to really help him because he's stacking attack. For both his super attack picks so you really want to aim to get that 24 key so he can get that double super off and he'll stacks attack technically he can get up to three plus supers because of what i'm seeing in this card for his uh his little pre pre-awakening yeah because it's ultra instinct okay yeah so for his pre-awakening really you want to get to 24 key so he can do his triple super because this guy already has a guaranteed super when you get to 24 key right over here and when you're above the hp threshold which you're going to be at for the start of turn he's going to have that guaranteed super right there so he gets two free supers from his passive that really helps him considering the fact that a he's going to be stacking attack for both his super attack effects and b when he does his first super he's going to be giving allies crit chance for two turns while stack and attack and gaining defense multiple turns and uh, of course the other thing is that he's getting defense for he's gonna be just gonna easily just keep getting that 30% defense one turn 30% defense one turn while just stacking up his attack the main goal is to just get his 24 key yeah so he can do his three plus supers technically you do up to four supers including his potential system but there's that um outside of that this guy does have up to 42% damage reduction and he builds up defense off of hits uh hits and is that it yeah I think that's about it yeah, the most notable thing about him is the fact that he is a build-up character. He's a build-up character that wants to hit max key. He wants to hit max key to stack his attack. Absolutely. Yeah. So, up to 42% damage reduction. He uh, is a build-up character that wants to hit max key with two plus supers built into him. Yeah, that's pretty much that. Looking, looking all right. And I do... Because he has stats here, so that's 150% attack and defense right over here. 
an additional 150% attack defense on reverse. That's up to, uh, what's that? 300% attack and defense, just right there in total. And uh, he gets 42% attack right over here and 75% defense up to that specific amount right over here. Um, that is fine, considering the fact that he has very high stats. If a card has some pretty high stats, he's looking good. This is a great balance of stats. I mean, I guess it makes sense, considering the fact that he's super in. Doesn't... Oh, wait, I did not mean to edit that. Okay... I am sorry about that, Connor. I don't know why it edited that for me. Let me just, there we go. Um, so yeah, that's really all I have to say. Do I have a problem with his pre-awakening? I feel like it's all right. I feel like it's okay. He is keeper keys to obtain. Maybe, maybe if he was a orb changer to his specific typing, so he can, uh, more consistently get his 24 key maybe that's it i feel like i'm fine with this yeah i think i'm fine with this yeah i'd probably say so i don't have too much of an issue with this maybe he's missing a little bit more stats no 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 he's not that's probably one thing i could think of but even then no he's not he's not missing more stats hell no yeah probably just him being a orb changer to his specific typing randomly changes key spheres to in type orbs and that's it that's the only thing I add. Yeah, I think this is all right. Yeah. Now, I like that you're going with the fact that this will be a unit that will be released after the ninth anniversary. I believe that's what I read. Um, and his links, uh, Prodigies, Tough as Nails, Experienced Fighter, Brainiacs, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. Okay. Um, Link's bit of an odd mixture. Yeah, bit of an odd mixture, but I guess it makes sense considering the fact that it's his universe custom character right so can't really say too much about that and his categories earth red fighters battle of fate miraculous awakening earthlings transformation boosts accelerated battle legendary existence connected hope powerful comeback realm of gods kamehameha power of wishes final trump card and crossover and his active skill transformation or awakening because it's ui you want to be technical i mean the ultra thing is not a transformation it's a wait it's whatever remember we, people used to have that debate back then <laughs> well let's call it transformation whatever just act skill transformation can be activated starting from the fifth turn from the start of battle okay and effect transform see you next page alco uh ui so ui alco okay and of course that's him with a little spear bomb i think all right so his new 12 key that being the instinctive flash 30 percent attack and defense for one turn while giving himself an additional five percent chance to dodge for one turn nice and his 18 key, that being Godly Display, he gets 30% attack defense one turn, and that's just that. So, good super attack fix. Just solid, sweet, and straight to the point. I feel like this 12 key, if he has a guarantee super or additional super built into him, this is going to be very helpful for him. Absolutely. Okay, so his passive. Uh, 6 key and 100... No, whoa. I thought this said 120. I am terrible at reading today six key and 420 percent attack and defense at the start of turn so a high amount of attack and defense at the start of turn very nice 42 percent damage reduction for four turns at the transformation strong of course and he gets the additional 42 percent damage reduction when key is 24 okay and he's also one key for keys are obtained still and he gets an additional 42 percent attack and defense when attacking nice and he performs a guarantee super and a feather the assault types is the first attacker in the turn so you're absolutely putting this guy inside the first slot right and he gets additional 42 percent attack and defense as the second or third attack in a turn cool and he gets a 30 percent chance to dodge and he, he gets an additional what's that it's additional 15 percent chance to dodge up to 42 percent per rainbow keys for obtained and he launches an additional attack that has a 50 percent chance to come a super attack after receiving three attacks in battle and he gets 42 percent attack and defense no it's 42 percent attack only after performing six attacks in battle um so you make this guy a rainbow orb changer he's a lot better yeah he's crazy good i mean granted you get him to 24 key the goal is to get this guy to, to 24 key just like the pre-transformation because you get him to 24 key and he's at what's that 84 percent damage reduction he's just is he, is he untouchable at that point because he has 84 percent damage reduction with up to that's up to a 72 percent chance to dodge yeah 
I mean, unless you run an orb changer. Now, I'm assuming that inside this document of custom cards, there's an orb changer here somewhere. So I would say looking good up to, I mean, looking at the start of the turn, right? Six key, 420% attack and defense, crazy high amount of stats. This card can get up to 84% damage reduction, key for keys to obtain, 42% attack and defense when attacking, launches a guarantee super and defensive against all types. Uh, what else? Has up to uh, a 72% chance to dodge, grants you get those rainbow orbs, and of course, additional super attack chance when you receive three attacks, as well as getting free attack for just performing six attacks. Um... Yeah, I feel like this is fine. I would say this card is, this card becomes a rainbow orb changer. Magnifico, but I'd like to assume that one of the uh, the custom cards for uh, the Xenoverse cards is an orb changer that is directly made to make this guy look ridiculous. Uh, and his links, I can believe he has new links. Uh, he gets godly power in place of what? Tough as nails. And what else? Shocking speed replaces brainiacs it does yeah that's it and his active skill that being the spirit kamehameha uh the condition can be activated starting from the next turn after transformation greatly raises attack temporarily cause ultimate damage to enemy um this is fine considering the fact that he is stacking up all this attack just to go into this form and be ridiculously strong yeah absolutely okay so that's about it car looks good yeah looks look good looks good um you make this guy orb changer in both his pre and post transformation, he becomes a lot better because his car's gold is good to 24 key. So, int type orb changer inside the pre transformation is what I would do personally. And uh, this card does have a just a boatload of well, yeah, no, make it make a ramp orb changer too. Make a orb changer pre and post transformation way stronger. Oh, I forgot to mention the fact that this car gets an additional 5% chance to dodge. So, um, after this card supers, and granted, you get all those rainbow orbs to build up that dodge chance, uh, you can get up to a 77% chance of dodge with 84% damage reduction, guarantee supers, the felt of all types, you can do up to like four plus supers with this card, um, crazy high amount of attack and defense at the start, turn stack and attack from his pre-transformation going into his post-transformation doing ridiculous damage, and um, that's about it, yeah, W card, yeah. Uh, Connor, thank you for sending your card. Send the custom cards over to VHF custom cards at gmail.com so I get to your custom card as soon as possible. I'm getting all these recent custom cards out the way. I appreciate you guys for watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I love you all. Join the 24 7 Discord server. The link to join the Discord server is now in the server below. And peace.